I was born in Freiburg, Germany, a town that is located close to the Black Forest area, which is probably one of the most beautiful forests I may be biased in Germany. Um, so I've always been close to forests in one way or another. And Germans really appreciate old growth forests and, and like to conserve it. My interest in the Amazon rainforest though did not like take off before I went to the Amazon rainforest when I was 20. It was an experience that completely changed my direction. I was going for architecture, but being in the rainforest, working in the rainforest, experiencing the rainforest in all its diversity and complexity became the trigger for me to say this is this is something I draw enormous energy from and this is something I can do for my entire life. Conserving the rainforest is something that cannot involve just one single skill. So from the outset I was following programs that were interdisciplinary in nature. My first, my bachelor program focused more on the ecological side of things, environmental management. And later I realized that conservation is not possible without thinking about what happens around them, what happens with the people in these rainforests. So um, I studied rural development, another interdisciplinary master. Um, both programs have helped me to appreciate the complexity of these issues, but it was not until I came to Ann Arbor that I realized complexity is important to recognize, but we need to understand something, we need to simplify it. The research project, which will be funded through the Marshall Weinberg Fellowship, um, is one of the first to look rigorously and quantitatively at the trade-off between conservation and development um, in, in the Amazon rainforest. So the conflict between conservation and development, between setting aside land for conservation and between using it for usually agricultural purposes is one of the oldest conflicts in conservation. However, there has been very little analysis at like the large scale on how this conflict how this trade-off plays out in, in reality. Two years ago, the first studies emerged that actually look at the trade-offs between conservation and development at the national level, looking at um, Costa Rica and Thailand, and observing that census tracts that had been protected with protected areas had alleviated poverty versus other census tracts that were unprotected, a result that was pretty unexpected. However, Costa Rica and Thailand are two countries in which have a large and very successful ecotourism sector, so much of this poverty alleviation could be attributed to ecotourism. Brazil is an enormous country. It has the largest deforestation rates on the planet. It has enormous investments into protected areas and it probably does not have an ecotourism that can alleviate the poverty impacts of conservation. So the question is, is the trade-off between conservation and development in Brazil different from what we observe in Costa Rica and Thailand? And if it is, did protected areas that had particular programs for allevi alleviating these trade-offs, did they actually have a positive impact in, in mediating the conservation development trade-off? It's interesting to see, like after a decade of work in trying to understand the trade-off between conservation and development, that in spite of all this talk about interdisciplinarity and the importance of interdisciplinary research for understanding what sustainability can mean in practice, there are still these two camps of scientists that either work on conservation, often dominated by natural scientists, ecologists, or on the other side, social scientists working on the social impacts or the social aspects of conservation. And we still don't really see these camps talking to each other. It's still real interdisciplinary research is still a rarity. So it's great to see that the Weinberg Fellowship actually pushes researchers that, that want to walk this fine line between the two but have incentives on their way to like slip into either camp to remain on this fine line between 
between the social and the ecological aspects of conservation. I would say I'm fascinated by boundaries and I'm fascinated um, about what happens when you cross these boundaries. This research that the Weinberg Fellowship will, will allow me to do has a lot of boundary crossing already built in. It is For me it is another language, it is Portuguese. It is something that crosses between the disciplines. It, for me it crosses into a field that I haven't been working um, with at all. Uh, population dynamics and migration is something I had not considered at the beginning of my research. And it will hopefully involve crossing the boundaries again, going to Brazil, going to the Amazon and seeing the trees and the forests firsthand. So I'm really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm.